What if time is more than just a concept? What if it's a physical entity? Traditionally, we've seen time as a mere concept, a tool for organizing our lives and understanding the universe. We track days, seasons and years, but there's a possibility that time could be as real and tangible as the matter and energy that surround us. Enter the world of Einstein and his revolutionary theory of relativity. Here, time dilation comes into play, a mind-boggling phenomenon where time slows down relative to the speed at which an object moves or the strength of the gravitational field it's in. This isn't science fiction, it's a reality confirmed by experiments with atomic clocks on satellites. But there's more. Imagine space-time as a fabric, a dynamic four-dimensional continuum where time and space are intertwined, influenced by mass and energy. This fabric can warp, curve and stretch, changing how we experience time. Now consider the role of entropy, the measure of disorder. As entropy increases, time moves forward. It's a subtle yet profound connection, suggesting that the, the physical nature of time might be tied to the growth of entropy in closed systems. Let's get speculative for a moment. Picture a universe where time isn't just a backdrop, but a substance. In this universe, time particles exist, interacting with matter and energy. These particles could form time fields with varying densities, affecting how quickly or slowly time flows in different regions. Imagine what advanced civilizations could do if they could manipulate these time particles. They could create time bubbles where time flows differently, making time travel a tangible reality. The possibilities are as vast as they are thrilling. So next time you check your watch, remember time might just be the most mysterious and fundamental aspect of our universe. Entropy is a fundamental concept that appears in various scientific fields, but what exactly is entropy? In simple terms, entropy is often associated with disorder, randomness or uncertainty. It quantifies the amount of missing information or the unavailable energy for doing useful work within a system. In classical thermodynamics, entropy plays a crucial role. The second law of thermodynamics states that the entropy of an isolated system, one not interacting with its surroundings, cannot decrease spontaneously over time. Instead, it tends to evolve toward a state of thermodynamic equilibrium, where entropy is at its highest. This means certain processes are irreversible. Once entropy increases, it cannot spontaneously decrease. This irreversibility is closely tied to the arrow of time, our perception that time flows in a specific direction. Entropy and the arrow of time. The connection between entropy and the arrow of time is profound. As time progresses, the entropy of an isolated system tends to increase. This means that systems naturally move from ordered states to more disordered ones, like the gradual spreading out of energy and matter throughout the system. When a system reaches thermodynamic equilibrium, its entropy is maximized. At this point, no further spontaneous changes occur. It's as if the system has settled into a stable configuration where disorder prevails. While microscopic interactions at the particle level can be reversible, showing T-symmetry, macroscopic processes at the system level exhibit irreversible behavior due to entropy. For instance, watching a single smoke particle drift in the air doesn't reveal whether a video is playing forward or backward. However, when we observe a large collection of smoke particles, the effects of entropy become noticeable. Austrian physicist Ludwig Boltzmann introduced statistical mechanics linking microscopic interactions to macroscopic behavior. He expressed entropy as a measure of the number of possible microscopic arrangements that comply with the system's macroscopic conditions. His work laid the foundation for understanding entropy in terms of probability distributions and disorder. In summary, entropy ensures that time flows in a specific direction, forward, by preventing clumping and promoting disorder. A universe without entropy might allow time to flow in both directions simultaneously, which would be quite different from our everyday experience. So the next time you ponder the mysteries of time, remember that entropy isn't just a concept. It's a fundamental aspect of our universe, shaping everything from the behavior of particles to the fate of galaxies. Until next time, keep questioning and exploring the wonders of our universe. Now that we've navigated the intricate relationship between entropy and the arrow of time, let's venture into an even more profound hypothesis regarding the ultimate fate of our universe. 
This is the concept of heat death, also known as the big chill or big freeze. Heat death of the universe, a cosmic destiny. The concept of heat death proposes that the universe will eventually evolve to a state of thermodynamic equilibrium, where there is no thermodynamic free energy available. In simpler terms, all energy will be evenly distributed, rendering the universe unable to sustain processes that increase entropy. Entropy and the second law of thermodynamics. As we've discussed, entropy tends to increase in an isolated system. As time progresses, the universe moves toward a state where all energy becomes evenly spread out. The second law of thermodynamics implies that mechanical energy or motion will eventually transform into thermal energy or heat due to entropy. This leads to the gradual cooling and dissipation of energy throughout the cosmos. The heat death paradox. The idea of heat death traces back to Lord Kelvin in the 1850s. He extrapolated the theory of heat as mechanical energy loss to universal processes. Kelvin's insight led to the formulation of the heat death paradox, which disproves the notion of an infinitely old universe. Origins of the idea. Interestingly, the origins of this idea can be traced even further back. French astronomer Jean-Sylvain Bailey in 1777 proposed that all celestial bodies cool off over time. According to Bailey, planets like Jupiter are still too hot for life to arise, while the moon has already become too cold. The final state, he suggested, is one of equilibrium, where all motion ceases. The fate of the universe. If the curvature of the universe is hyperbolic or flat, or if dark energy behaves as a positive cosmological constant, the universe will continue expanding forever. Over an immensely long time period, the universe will cool down, approaching equilibrium at an extremely low temperature, a scenario known as heat death. In summary, heat death represents a distant cosmic destiny, a time when the universe's energy dissipates, temperatures plummet, and all motion ceases. While this fate lies far in the future, contemplating it reminds us of the impermanence of all things in our vast cosmos. Until next time, keep questioning and exploring the wonders of our universe. Now that we've journeyed through the concept of heat death and the ultimate fate of our universe, let's pivot to another tantalizing hypothesis that stretches the boundaries of our understanding, the multiverse hypothesis. Understanding the multiverse hypothesis. What is the multiverse? The multiverse is the hypothetical set of all possible universes. Together, these universes are presumed to comprise everything that exists. The entirety of space, time, matter, energy, information, and the physical laws and constants that describe them. The different universes within the multiverse are called parallel universes, alternate universes, or many worlds. Origins and evolution. The idea of multiple universes has been discussed throughout history, including in Greek philosophy. However, the modern multiverse hypothesis has its origins in a 1957 thesis by Hugh Everett. He offered a Many Worlds interpretation, MWI, of some of the phenomena observed in quantum mechanical situations, such as the double slit experiment. Everett's Many Worlds interpretation proposed that every quantum event results in a branching of the universe into multiple parallel realities. In other words, every possible outcome of a quantum measurement occurs in a separate universe. While Everett's interpretation initially faced skepticism, it has since become a topic of serious scientific inquiry. Types of multiverse physicists and cosmologists have proposed various types of multiverses. Level 1, an extension of our universe where regions beyond our observable universe are similar to ours. Level 2, universes with different physical constants, such as the strength of gravity or the charge of electrons. Level 3, the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics where every quantum event spawns multiple parallel universes. Level 4, the ultimate ensemble encompassing all possible mathematical structures and universes. Other classifications include twin world models, cyclic theories, M-theory and black hole cosmology. Debates and challenges. Critics argue that the multiverse concept lacks testability and falsifiability which are essential for scientific inquiry. It raises unresolved metaphysical issues, while some scientists have analyzed data in search of evidence for other universes. No statistically significant evidence has been found. The multiverse remains a topic of ongoing debate within the physics community. Philosophical notion or scientific hypothesis. 
Some physicists view the multiverse as more of a philosophical notion than a strictly empirical scientific hypothesis. It cannot be directly observed or falsified. Nevertheless, the multiverse continues to inspire scientific curiosity and imaginative exploration. As we conclude our cosmic exploration for today, remember that the universe, or perhaps the multiverse, holds many secrets yet to be unveiled, 